Let's move into our final topic here today, talking about a potentially pretty big opening for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Chris, what do we got? From Box Office Fan, Spider-Verse 2 is looking to have a great opening, but now looks like it may be a bigger one than we thought. They're now predicting a 70 million to 80 million opening. Would this be a win for Sony, or is Sony expecting a bigger opening? And if Spider-Verse 2 is a huge hit, would other studios start making more animated comic book films? Maybe a Batman Beyond animated film for theaters? Yeah, keep dreaming. Um, so here's, you shall listen, we, we, t- <laughs> we talked off the opening of the show uh, with a Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse story, talking about the brand new, probably final trailer that came out. Um, again, I absolutely love the first Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse. But the reality is, while it won the Academy Award for Best Animated Film that year, well-deserved. By the way, it should have been nominated for Best Picture because in my estimation, it was the third best movie of the year overall. Not just comic book movie, not just anime. I thought it was the third best film overall of the year. But it never got a <laughs> never got a Best Picture nomination because the Academy created the Best Animated Division just so they could give themselves an excuse not to nominate animated films. At any rate, that's, a, that's another issue that I'll deal with another time. But I... When a lot of people ask me about what are the films this year that could possibly and potentially be billion dollar films, I never mention Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, to which a lot of people ask, John, why are you leaving Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse off? It's like, well, as great as the film is, the first one, the reality is it didn't do that great at the box office. I, I mean, it did all right. It held up, but it didn't do great. And there's a huge jump from the amount it made before to a billion dollars. So that's why I've always remained very skeptical. But this new report might suggest that there might be some more likes to that. Now, they said in their email that they're saying it can make up to 80. And I have seen that report. But Box Office Pro just put out their projections for Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. And it is not 70 to $80 million dollars. It's 85 to $105 million opening weekend. Now, to put that in context, let's look at how the first film did. The first film, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, made only $35 million opening weekend. And it made a box office total of $384 million. Nothing to sneeze at. That's Black Adam numbers right there. $384 million. But, I mean, a big, big, huge, long leap to get up to the billion-dollar mark. Well, what Box Office Pro is now projecting is they're saying Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse could open anywhere between between $85 million and $105 million, which, if it comes in at the top end of that, would literally be triple what the original made in its opening weekend. Triple. Now, listen, we talk all the time on this show about how what producers and studios want to see is an upward trajectory, but we're not talking about an upward trajectory. We're talking about this. We're talking about a straight vertical line. Um, Like this would be absolutely incredible. Now, again, these are projections and that 105 number is the top end. But even if you look at the bottom end of say deadlines projection, which was 70, that represents a doubling of an opening weekend box office. So let's go back to my image here, to this graphic. So if you want to extrapolate, and you can't extrapolate, I know, but just for fun, if you wanted to extrapolate, let's say that Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse makes double of what the last film did in its opening weekend. Could that theoretically, if you want to extrapolate, equal to double the final box office? Maybe. Well, if you did, you're now talking about a movie that's making... $760, $770 million, which isn't too far off from that billion dollar mark. Okay, let's, let's keep playing this fantasy extrapolation game. All right, well, let's say it makes the high end number of that box office pro projection, which listed here is 85 to $105 million. Let's say top end of that, that's triple. Well, now you're talking about a movie that does break the billion dollar mark. Now, again, Let me be very clear. You cannot just extrapolate opening weekend numbers and project what the final box office is going to be, okay? We're playing a fun fantasy game here. But in theory, 
as the guy who has been saying, despite the fact that this is one of my most anticipated films of the year, that I don't think that this thing actually has a legitimate shot of hitting the billion dollar mark. If it can open this big, and that's a big if, but if it can, if Box Office Pro is accurate in their numbers, and we're still a few weeks from finding out if they are or not, but if they are, then I may be wrong, and and maybe hitting the billion-dollar mark is something that might be within reach for Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse. I certainly hope it is. Guys, we want to thank a sponsor of this video, Rocket Money. The average person has around 12 paid subscriptions. Think about that. If you think you're only subscribed to a handful of services, you might want to double check. With Rocket Money, you can quickly identify and cancel all of your unwanted subscriptions. Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill, is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitor your spending, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Rocket Money will quickly and easily identify your subscriptions for you so you can stop paying for the ones you don't want and don't even use. Simply find the subscription you don't want and press cancel and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. No more long hold times with customer service or tedious emailing back and forth. Rocket Money makes canceling subscriptions as easy as the click of a button. My wife Ann and I moved out of Burbank two years ago and one of the first things I discovered when I loaded up Rocket Money was that I was still paying for a gym membership I haven't even been to in Burbank in two years. So stop throwing away your money. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to Rocket Money rocketmoney.com slash campia. That's rocketmoney.com slash campia. rocketmoney.com slash campia. Anyway, Chris, you see these numbers. <laughs> Are you surprised to hear them? What do you think this could mean for Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse overall? Does it have a shot of joining the Billion Dollar Club? What do you think? I am not surprised at all. As you may recall, earlier this week, I panicked and bought my tickets while on air. And I got the last two tickets for me and Logan in a theater. So all the other times, too, that I was looking at, almost sold out, almost sold out, almost sold out. So I think that these box office projections are so accurate. And I do think it's going to be closer to that 100 mil mark, which I'm very excited about for opening weekend. Now, that being said... The issue that could happen here is then we maybe don't see that kind of longevity like we did with Spider-Verse, right? And that's why a lot of people have been doing that lately with box office of, sure, it had a big opening weekend, but that means it's going to do poorly in weeks to follow. It doesn't necessarily mean that, right? If the movie's great, which by all accounts it looks like it is, then I think we are going to see this have great legs and make a ton of money. I would love to see this in the Billion Dollar Club. I would be so, so happy. And I think, to your point about how this should have been nominated for Best picture, not just best animated feature. I think that would be such a finger <laughs> to the Academy after Lord and Miller penned that that letter saying, look, you guys are wildly disrespectful when it comes to animation. The way that you all introduced our category this year was so, so lowbrow of talking about how we only make kids content. Yeah. Guillermo yeah, del Toro, was terrible. it was awful. Guillermo del Toro has come out on stage too, talking about how this is a medium, this is not a genre or anything. I think it'd be wonderful to see a film of this caliber make that much money. So it could also be, hey, not only is this a wonderful story, this is viable filmmaking. This is something that you should be investing your time, energy, and money into because we're not going anywhere and this is what people want to see. This puts butts in seats. All right, guys, question is for you. What do you think about these projections that we're seeing for Spider-Man across the Spider-Verse? We are talking as absolutely low as double the amount that the first one did, as high as possibly triple what the original one did. Where do you think this is going to come in? Have you bought your tickets already? Maybe you're not even looking forward to the movie. I can't wait for it. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comments section below and let us know your thoughts.